This teachable moment is brought to you by the Jewish Healthcare Foundation and the Pittsburgh Regional Health Initiative. With the goal of reducing extravasations from IV vesicant drugs, learn how a team from Heritage Valley Health System tackled the problem. A vesicant drug is a drug that has a very high or low pH. And so if that medication leaks out of the vein, it's very caustic to the surrounding tissue. And it has the potential to damage not only the tissue, but also the muscles, the tendons, even down to the bone. Within one calendar year, we had about 43 events with IV drug extravasation. And when we looked at those more closely, what we found is that we had four serious events where that extravasation caused harm or damage to that patient. In the old process, a patient would be admitted. Depending on their diagnosis, the physician may order a vesicant drug. We're going to start you on vancomycin. If we used a short-term catheter at that point, that patient may have multiple restarts because the medication is very caustic to the veins and those veins tend to not last for any duration of time. Okay. Doctor, we've been having trouble with her vein. She's been here for quite a while, and I'm wondering if we should consult IV therapy. We collected the data, and what we found is that from the time the vesicant drug was ordered until IV therapy came to the bedside and did that vascular assessment, average time frame would have been about four and a half days. Right, What's wrong with a four and a half day time frame is that we increase the risk of that patient having an IV drug extravasation. Based off the problem that we identified through the patient safety department, reducing IV drug extravasations became one of our projects for that year. It was important to pull together a multidisciplinary team and we looked at what our process was to begin with and really we found that we had a lot of variability in that process. So our end tool that we used is an algorithm that succinctly steps out that process and very much streamlines it so there's uh, reduced variation. In the new process, what happens is that when the patient is admitted and the physician orders a vesicant drug, that report goes directly to pharmacy and they produce what we call a drug tracking report. That report is printed directly to the IV therapy department. IV therapy, at least minimally on a daily basis, will take that report and prioritize those patients on the list to have a vascular assessment. Donna, what you have here is an IV, um, peripheral IV. And what we're going to do is put a pick line in, which is put placed in your upper arm here. Okay. And the reason why we're doing that is because the antibiotic is an irritant to your, to your vessel. With the new process, we're seeing that patient within 24 hours. Once we implemented the new process, we immediately, within a month, found a reduction in the number of IV drug extravasations. Our goal with the new process was to reduce IV drug extravasations by 50%. We not only met our goal of 50%, but we exceeded it. We had an 84% improvement in the number of reductions. In that first seven month period following, we actually had five months out of seven where we had zero incidences of IV drug extravasation.